Hey guys, my name is Luisa. I'm on here to talk about Instacart and different things that I've learned. This is my first day. And what I'm noticing is Instacart is usually easily maneuvered. Um, I just got my package today. It came with my card, which I have in my wallet. It looks like a credit card. And it also came with an Instacart kind of key thingy, you know, the chain so you can be identified, which is good because I'm from New York and right now we're supposed to be, it is suggested that we stay home and we, you know, so people are getting stopped. So if you're not essential working, you know, nurses, doctors, warehouse workers, people who keep the city moving, sanitation, delivery people, you know, you, you're going to get hassled a little bit depending on where you are. Um... Some things that I have realized that I'm going to need, and I realized it quite quickly, sanitizer wipes. I'm, no, I'm noticing I'm using a lot of these just to keep a caution, wipe my stuff down, wipe my hands down. Um, you know, you're touching a lot of items, so you kind of want to have sanitizer wipes. I've actually also taken one of these envelope thingies from the post office, and I'm keeping all my receipts in there. That helped me a lot. Another thing that I did, Ikea bag. This is actually pretty good because when I go in there, a lot of the times I don't want a shopping cart. I don't want a shopping cart. I can't get in and out of different aisles very quickly with a cart. So I notice when I have that Ikea bag, one, two, three, I can throw everything in. Another thing that I'm noticing is when I go on the app and the app says, batches so it'll say like there's 33 things that this customer wants but then slash doubles so there could be 33 items and 66 total because they want double of the items so they they want one cheese two yogurts of the same kind two breads of the same kind you know you can get what i'm saying right so that's pretty good with me understanding that so far. And another thing, I'm not taking too many double orders in one. So that's kind of like, they want you to be in the supermarket shopping for two orders and taking them to different places. I'm not a fan. I'm not, uh, right at this very moment, I don't think I'm a fan of that. I think I'll do it later. But right now while I'm starting out, I just want to get my feet wet and I just want to keep it very simple. So I'm just taking the one order. Another thing that I guess I was looking for when I was starting was how do I maneuver using the card or whatever? All I knew was, okay, you gave me this card, but how do I use it? I couldn't put two and two together. So what it was is you get in the store, you scan the item that the person wants, and when everything is said and done, the money goes onto the card. You use the card that they've provided for you. So that was, I totally made it out to be more, you know, difficult and more complicated than it really was. Um, don't mind me rambling a little bit because I don't do any type of editing at all. So what you see is what you get. Um, what else? Um, hmm. What else really stumped me? I don't know. I just jumped right in. Like I didn't say to myself, oh, you know, let me spend a lot of time thinking about it or whatever. I just jumped right in and whatever was going to come was going to come. When I packed everything up and I delivered it to my first person, it was very simple. They didn't even want to see me and I was happy about that. You know, they wanted their groceries right out front, left it right out front. They literally put five dollars in their mailbox with a sticky note that said there's five dollars in the mailbox couldn't ask for better um let's see what else stumped me a little bit i did notice that people tend to come up to you when they see that you are shopping for instacart and want to talk to you but you're on a time limit so it's like you don't want to be rude but you have to say you know, you know, I'm sorry. I, I'm just, I, I'm just really in a rush right now and kind of scoot them off. But then again, it kind of backfires because if you have a referral code, if you tell people, you know, I work for Instacart and here's my referral code, 
you could get a little something and they potentially get a little something too for signing up under your referral code. But uh, personally, I'm just starting out. I kind of want to keep it simple and then I'll branch out some more difficult things later. Hmm. What else did I see that I really, really wanted to know but I didn't see when I was researching YouTube? Hmm. Oh, okay. So I know that I like a certain area. I'm comfortable in that area. So what I did was I sat, I drove in front of the most popular supermarket in that area. And when I went online to see if there were any batches, lo and behold, there were a lot of batches for that area and for that supermarket. So there was no driving or whatever. It was like, bing, you're right there. So you get you can get those really quickly. Another thing that I just discovered was when you're done, like getting all your stuff, they, they, do, 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 the word escapes me. And you remember, we don't do editing around here. Um, when you're done checking out, checking out, and you're about to leave, don't say that you're done with your delivery until you get in your vehicle. Because, you know, everything is so time-related sometimes. So I don't say that I'm done shopping until I'm sitting in my car and I'm ready to head out to deliver the package to the customer. That's something else that I figured out all in one day. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not the brightest. I'm not the slowest. Somewhere in the middle. So for now, this is actually really helpful to me because I was kind of furloughed and this is this has been like a godsend in a way I'm, I'm able to set my hours I'm able to be in my vehicle not so much exposed and make money to be able to cover my bills and things of that nature so Instacart came in at a very very good time for me if I figure out more things and I figure out more tips which inevitably I will I'll come back on and I'll shoot you another video. So this is Louisa signing off.